There was one other thing. What happened? I do believe. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. This morning, I'm making the bacon, egg, and cheese croissants because I didn't make them yesterday. I was going to, but everybody wanted pancakes, so we went with that. But this morning, it's the bacon, egg, and cheese croissants. This is post breakfast. Sometimes in the morning, I'll drink coffee when I'm eating my breakfast, and then there's other times when I want my coffee as I'm going down the road, and then there's sometimes when I don't even want coffee at all. It's crazy how that works, ain't it? But like this morning, for some reason, like Tyler said, I'm gonna need a little Folgers in my cup. I don't like these things, y'all. You don't want to take I don't like these things, y'all. I don't know if y'all like them, but to me, I feel like this, being like this, changes the taste of the coffee. I was just gonna put it in that for you because you were taking it to go. Well, it means a lot to me that you think about me that way. That's my cup. Let me have a good old. That, one, that one's yours. It's all stained up. Oh yeah, I like something stained like that. <laughs> no, somebody stained, can... just like me. Somebody get his pancake syrup. <laughs> oh okay. Now let's get this deal going. Is it ready to go, Mama? Yeah, you can go ahead. All right, everybody. I love this part right here. Now we're ready to go. Got him where you can see now, nice Swain. Right, there you go, buddy. Okay, y'all, it is several hours later now. It's about 2.30 in the afternoon. I've not done any of my to-do list yet, but I think I can get it done before it's time to cook supper. I need to clean this refrigerator, the refrigerator in there. I'm also gonna wipe down my deep freezer again with some more vinegar, and I think I'm out of baking soda, but if I have some more, I'm gonna put some more of that in there. If this doesn't work, then I'm gonna try the charcoal thing. Then if that doesn't work, I'm gonna try everything. I'm gonna try all the tips y'all gave me. The newspaper and vanilla thing, I might get a newspaper tomorrow, because I'm, I'm not planning on going anywhere today, but tomorrow on the way home from church, I might stop and get a newspaper and put the vanilla on the newspaper and put that in there because a lot of y'all said that would work. And there was one other thing. There was a few things actually, but one other one, um, I'll have to go back and look through the comments, but I'm gonna try all the things until that smell is gone. <laughs> all right, we're gonna start with this one because this is how it's looking right now. I didn't do the straightening up of the refrigerator last week when I got groceries and I didn't do it this week. And it is very, very obvious. So we're gonna do that now. Let's set ourselves a little timer because that's always fun. I'm gonna give myself 30 minutes for this one. First step, take everything out. Moving on to the next one. Here is this before. I think it's almost worse than the other before. I went ahead and wiped down the deep freezer, y'all. So far, still pretty smelly. What's wrong, baby? <laughs> These are leftover butter beans from last night. We're gonna be having those tonight. 
with these leftover mashed potatoes and I'm just gonna make some cornbread. I have chicken or ground beef that's already thawed out, so I'm gonna make something with chicken or ground beef <laughs> to go with the beans, cornbread, and mashed potatoes. Lots of peaches and applesauce oh, right here. I have a long neck. A long neck? Okay, oh yes, I did have strawberry cream cheese spread in here. This is a brand new container of it. We'll take it in there with the bagels. Oh, you found the pizza dough? Oh. Punch it. Yeah, we're not gonna make it today. We might make it for lunch tomorrow. What do you say? You gotta punch it down. <laughs> Okay, this one's done. It only took about 15 minutes, I think, not as long as the other one. That's our leftover beans. We'll be eating those in just a little bit, and the potatoes. Okay, last thing on the cleaning list is just to straighten up this cabinet. It's really not that bad. Mostly just this bottom section needs some help, and this shelf is struggling a little bit, but the rest of it is pretty good. It just needs to be straightened up a little. You don't want to leave. Oh yeah, she's like, what happened? happened? Deli, Deli off right there, Tyler. All right, shut the gate up there. Good job. Perfect. Got her bangs trimmed and she's ready to go, Swain. That's right. <laughs> got my boots? Yeah, I am strong. You sure are. Yeah. The Yanka eat cantaloupe. Yeah, they do. <laughs> we found the cantaloupe seeds we saved for the chickens the other day when we were cleaning out the refrigerators. Okay, let's get them a little bowl real quick. No, it's not Groundhog Day today. It's already passed. Yeah. Hey, Mama, let's stand in the shade. You want to stand in the shade? Yeah. Okay, now. That was a fun time in the shade. Yeah. You going to take your wheelbarrow? Yeah. Okay. There you go. Let's roll it up there. Here we go. Right here. We got it for you. We got a treat for you, cookies. Come on. Look, here she comes. She knows that's the treat bowl, doesn't she? Here, let's take the top off. Yeah. You gonna pour it in? Woo! Now I need to get more. <laughs> no, she's not in the tree. Where is she? Miss Turkey. Oh, I think I hear her. Hang on. There she is. What are you doing, girl? Bet she was over here taking a nap. Come on, we put cantaloupe back here. You better hurry. We stayed out there for a little bit. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get supper started. So I'm gonna transfer the butter beans to this pot and heat them up here. I did see that we had fried chicken left over from last night. I thought Titus and the boys cleared that out yesterday evening, but we do still have some. So I'm just gonna warm that up and make some chicken strips to go with this. And I'll save that other chicken for a different night. Oh, oh, that's splashy. That is splashy. Oh, I need to make some butter. I have enough for my cornbread tonight to put on top of my cornbread, but I need to make some butter um, I'll probably make it here in a minute because tonight, once I get out all the kids ready for bed, I'm going to make an overnight cinnamon roll casserole for breakfast in the morning.
show y'all. We got the kitchen cleaned up. Titus and Tyler just got here about, I guess they got here about 30 minutes ago. I'm gonna go ahead and make this overnight cinnamon roll, sorry, pecan cinnamon roll casserole. So this is kind of mixing like the little pecan, what are those things called, Jake, that you like? Or you used to like on the, the pecan swirly. This is kind of mixing cinnamon rolls and those together. And also kind of like a French toast bake thing. So first, we're gonna take these cinnamon rolls. We're just gonna cut them into fours. I'm using two cans. Oh, I need to spray my casserole dish real quick. I was gonna go ahead and put them in the pan, but I think, you know what? I think I'm gonna mix them in the bowl with the mixture. That way I know that they get really good and coated and we won't have any dry spots. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We'll go ahead and cut them up and just sit them over to the side. Let me get the other can opened. And I'm just gonna put this, since we're doing these tonight, I'm gonna make them in the morning. I'm just gonna put the icing packs in the refrigerator too. start with two eggs. Now we're going to put in half a cup of heavy cream. This fresh cream is so thick. Like you can't even get it to, it makes really good butter though. See how thick it is? Come on, there we go. It's not bad. I know it looks like it has clumps in it. It's just that it's that thick. I might have to add a little bit of half and half anyway since this is so thick. Just so there will be enough liquid. Yeah, I think I'll put a little splash of half and half. But if your cream isn't, you know, extremely thick, you can just skip that part. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna put in two tablespoons of flour. Okay, now three teaspoons of cinnamon. And a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. That's about how much was left in there. So we'll just go ahead and shake that out. A teaspoon of vanilla and about two tablespoons of sugar. You can do brown sugar too instead, but I'm really low on brown sugar, so. Okay, we're gonna mix this all together and then we'll fold in the cinnamon roll pieces. Okay, so now we're gonna put the pecans. You can put these in something and chop them up, whatever, but the little kids have already gone to bed, so I'm just gonna break them up real quick. We'll just fold those in. And we're gonna pour this into the casserole dish. Okay, I'm just gonna spread it out evenly and then we'll cover this with foil and stick it in the refrigerator. And in the morning, while the oven's preheating, we'll take it out of the refrigerator. And then it'll bake at 350 for about 20 to 30 minutes, just until you know the cinnamon rolls are cooked through and all. Then we'll drizzle the icing over the top. Okay y'all, I do believe this is my new favorite way to make a cinnamon roll casserole. <laughs> it is really good. It's not dry anywhere, but it's also not mushy. It's like perfect. It's the perfect moistness. They're great. Mm -hmm. 